everyone, so I'm going to do a DIY with you guys and we're going to make leather bows with spikes on it or we can even add little creepy little eyeballs. It's totally up to you and it's totally customizable to your liking. Um, this is perfect for like Halloween or cosplay or anything like that or wear it whenever you like. It's very um, edgy looking and I don't know, it just looks really creepy and I love it. <laughs> so onto the um, things you'll need of course is a leather fabric and this one's kind of thick. If you can find one that is lighter than this, by all means, you know, buy it. I think I got this one at Joann's Fabric. And you'll need all these shown right here. You'll of course need a ruler, pipe cleaner, scissors, hot glue. Uh, optional, you can get the little eyeballs. I will link you guys where I got that. Uh, you'll need hair clippies. I would recommend something that's a little bigger than this and more sturdier because the bows are quite heavy. And you'll also need, of course, are some studs. Um, these are just you know, spikes and little um, different shapes and sizes. So there's cones and whatnot, and I believe I got most of these at my local bead store, but you can find them on eBay or um, your craft store. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to measure out our bow. Um, it's going to be 11 by 4 inch as the size of the bow, and you can adjust the size to make it smaller because it is quite big. I wouldn't recommend going any bigger than that because it's really heavy. And you'll also need a smaller piece that is about... Um, four to four or five inches to one and a half inch so you can okay five to one half inch <laughs> and we're just going to cut out those two pieces and don't worry if you don't cut perfectly we'll start gluing the edges together to make it um look really clean looking with the bow because you don't want the inside of the bow to be showing so here are the two pieces i'm going to take my hot glue gun and start gluing the edges together like so and I'm just going to do it in sections like this so you don't see the seam when you're making your bow and it will just look very clean looking so do this carefully it is very hot so do it in sections and now we're just going to do the other side and we're also going to do the same to the smaller piece So once you have all your pieces done, now we're going to start um, gluing the middle part together or we're taking two sides and gluing it to the middle. So I'm taking my ruler to see where the middle is and I'm applying a good amount of glue and we're just going to glue both sides to the middle as you guys can see. And hold that down with a little bit of pressure for a little bit. And once you're done with that, now it's time to form the bow. I'm just going to pinch it like so and you pretty much have your bow shape because the leather is so stiff or the fabric. So it's really easy to mold the bow. And make sure that they're all going the same way um, when you're folding it. You don't want it going one way and the other. So now I'm just going to take the pipe cleaner and I'm just going to wrap that around so it'll help me keep the bow shape intact. I'm just gonna twist it and then cut off the excess. So once you have that done and in the center, now it's time to start gluing the smaller piece of leather to the middle and that's gonna help um, complete the bow. We're just gonna add a generous amount of hot glue and I'm just going to press down for a little bit and apply pressure until it's dried. And I'm going to do it again for the other side and also cut off the excess. I didn't realize how heavy this bow was. Um, you pretty much need a thicker hair clip than this one or double up the hair clip because it will um, I had a struggle with this, so make sure you use either two clips or a larger hair clippy and just apply a generous amount of glue onto this. Um, you can e use the E6000 or you can just use the hot glue, it's up to you and just apply pressure. And there you have your bow. Now we can just you know, dress it up, you can either do a little creepy little eyeball like this or you can just do just little spikes and studs um, and decorate it 
the way you want it to. And for today, I'm just going to start gluing these on. Um, I do recommend using an E6000 glue or a really like industrial type glue because the hot glue gun itself, um, it didn't really hold the spikes really well. So make sure that you try to get like something that's really, really like a heavy duty type glue. Just make sure you get a glue that will make it like stay because hot glue gun itself did not really work that well or super glue. Um, next time I'll try like E6000 uh, So yeah, I hope you guys will you know try this out You can either make it for yourself or for another person depending on how much fabric that you have But it's so fun to make and you can make it yourself in your kind of style you want instead of just going to the store and buying it It's really um, inexpensive too So I hope you try this out and I will link you guys everything below like uh, the eyeballs and whatnot and thanks for watching guys. I hope you try out this tutorial. Bye!